right. He said, all right, prednisone. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, now this next song, I mean, I've written some, you know, pretty weird stuff, but this might be the weirdest, the weirdest thing I've done. I don't know. And it came about because I, of my, anytime I ever hear that idiom, like you'll hear somebody in a movie say, shut your pie hole. I am. I think about it like for days and laugh my head. <laughs> I think "shut your pie hole" is one of the funniest things to say because it is so outrageously rude. And I want somebody whose last—it's rude in so many ways. And I want somebody whose last name is Pie Hole to name their kid Shutcher. <laughs> because then you could never tell anybody what your name was. I mean, you know, if you're sitting on Santa's knee, what's your name? Shut your pie hole. Uh, you're in traffic court talking to the judge. What's your name? Shut your pie hole. I mean, you know. It would be, life would be horrible if your name was Shut Your Pie Hole. And so I, I texted a friend and said that I had written this new song called Shut Your Pie Hole because I was talking to Kenny and I was saying, if I could just write a song called Shut Your Pie Hole and make it catchy, then the audience would want to request it. And so in the middle of the show, people would say, Shut Your Pie Hole! <laughs> well, Kenny and I are dying laughing in all the different ways <laughs> that they could, you know, do that. So, uh, so, um, I was going to tell you something else about it, and I already forget what it was. Oh, so, all right, so, it's only the third time I've done this song. So, and the first two times were the last night and the night before that. So, so I text my friend, hey, I, I wrote a song called Shut Your Pie Hole. And I spell it S-H-U-T-C-H-E-R, Pie Hole. And my friend texts back, we figured out what your song title was. Figured out. <laughs> what do you mean you figured it out? So, and then I started thinking, yeah, because it never even had crossed my mind to spell it S H U T, new word Y O U R. Because nobody who enunciates or speaks well and would say shut your would follow it with a final. <laughs> That's never going to happen. <laughs> Deliverance to call somebody's mouth their pie hole. So, anyway, so my goal was to see if I could write a song called Shut Your Pie Hole. <laughs> Santa Monica Hotel Room sat around in red all day. I don't care much how this verse goes I just want to get to say <laughs> Shut your pie hole Shut your pie hole Shut your pie hole S-H-U-T-C-H-E-R-P-I-E-H-O-L-D If I had a cat I would name him that. <laughs> so if I get to come to your tent, and this is what you want to hear, oh please don't hesitate to tell me, yell out for it loud and clear. Shut your pie hole. Shut your pie hole. Thank you. I am so delighted with hearing him sing. Um, even awesome. perhaps on this tour because one of their gigs is in an actual recording studio that is also a venue. 
And I do want to call the record shut your pie, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm going to get some argument from some people about that. <laughs> Kathleen's been not going to like it. She says, you can't call it shut your pie. <laughs> but I think you should be able to call anything shut your pie. <laughs> Isn't it a good Kathleen? <laughs> yes. Shut your. I mean, shut your could be somebody's name. Right. I was wishing that Albert Pujols would change his name. <laughs> but he needs to anyway. So. Uh, and then, Albert you know. Pujols. He's a baseball player. Oh, this is a folk music concert when you hear someone have to say Albert Pujols, a baseball player. Yeah, that's, how you know, that's how you know you're in a folk music. Oh, did he get a touchdown? <laughs> So, let's just do what we usually do here. I'm hoping I'm going to get Celine Dion to cover such a <laughs> More like no, somebody like Mariah Carey would do a lot of licks in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs>